Hello everybody and welcome to MediCourse. This is an introductory video to a new set of series that we're starting, which is called the Top 10 series, where we'll be telling you 10 interesting facts about a particular drug to start off with. And I hope this goes well for us. So the drug chosen for today is none other than Rifampicin. So let's get down to business. Rifampicin, number one. It's a bactericidal drug which acts by inhibiting RNA polymerase and this makes it quite special because it's one of the few drugs that act by inhibiting nucleic acid synthesis. Number two, the absorption of rifampicin is extremely good and I mean really really good. It can be given orally, almost need to give it parentally. However, food interferes with its absorption and so it's said that eat or have breakfast after you have taken your rifampicin so that the absorption can taste perfectly. Now, rifampicin is a CYP enzyme inducer and this has vast implications as we're seeing in the few next facts. Number four, rifampicin as we all know gives an orange red color to your skin, urine, body fluids, etc. But why this happens is because it leads to the formation of a decile rifampicin metabolism. And yes, methyl rifampicin gives it the color. However, in leprosy, clofazamine is the drug to give this color, not rifampicin. Because of all of these metabolites, number five is that rifampicin is an extremely toxic drug and is rather notorious for the same. LFT is mandatory on a regular basis. Number six, oral contraceptive pills can fail if the female is on rifampicin and you can actually get pregnant in spite of being sincere. Number seven, Retroviral therapy demands the use of rifabutin instead of rifampicin because the enzyme-inducing effects of rifampicin decrease the efficacy of drugs like nevirapine and proteus inhibitors. So rifabutin is a better alternative. Number eight, it can be used to treat a disease called Ginez disease caused by Legionella nemophila. Number nine, it can be used to eradicate the carrier state for meningococcal meningitis and has got a rather crucial point of place when it comes to epidemiology of meningitis. The last one, but the best one, Green Expert test is a nucleic acid-based amplification test, detects the resistance against rifampicin and thus tells us when a particular strain is MDR-TB. I hope you had fun with this series. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and we're going to be sure to stay medical awesome.